Many people with a long-term illness, together with their family, face some very difficult choices about the end of their life. Whereas 75% of people tell us that in those circumstances they want to die at home, in actual fact, 60% of people last year died in hospital. Working together with health services, we can improve this situation. And here, one family talked to us about how the right care made all the difference for them. You just can't say too much about it. It was absolutely wonderful if you can describe death as being wonderful. Um, it was, it was a, a really lovely experience. And to see her lying there and not suffering. We care for frail elderly people, some with dementia, some with physical illnesses. We are quite passionate about delivering high quality care at end of life. And I feel it's very important that we could give people a good experience at the end of life. You only get one chance to do that. I think the experience that uh, my auntie had or my wife's auntie had was probably better here than actually being in a local hospital. I know the hospitals are very, very busy and everything else and she would probably just been in a bed in a ward. But being here in Abbey Care, she was cared for 24-7 for the last month. People kept coming in every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes to see her, talking to her. We were here as often as we could. It was just really a lovely, lovely experience for mm. her. The families are involved in everything. We have family meetings. If someone's condition changes, we involve the family. It was so gentle. I don't know if that's the correct word. It was... Peaceful. Peaceful. And there was no stress, there was no anxiety. It just was it's as if you were somewhere different. It was calm. We always have great uh, ties with London Borough of Parking Dagenham. But what we would like is that um, the people at time we get are on a very low fee. Although the London Borough have raised fee recently, 2% or 3%, but that is not enough to provide workforce for, for high quality care of I mean, end of life. So as we've just heard from Dr Khan, there's a huge challenge for all local authorities in ensuring that what we pay for residential care is sustainable for the future. Despite the financial pressures on the council, we've committed to reassessing what we pay for care uh, for the year ahead. We'd love to hear your views on adult social care in Barking and Dagenham. There's plenty more information on how we performed and also details of the services available on our Care and Support Hub. Go to careandsupport.lbbd.gov.uk and follow the links to the local account and we look forward to hearing what you've got to say.